is just another update on another emu feeder that we made so this one we already have this uh, shelter that we built um, and uh, you can see how I cut this 55 gallon drum not completely in half I wanted a little extra on, on top because I do have goats and the bigger that this gap is the easier it is for them to get their heads in there uh, the only thing I would have done differently with this one is you can see I have a single hook or I really have just a, uh, a lead in the front there for the three holes. I would have put the double hooks on the front where the holes are and the single hook in the back simply because when you unhook this front and you let it down, the holes are at the bottom. So when you fill it up, all the food runs right out. So what I have to do here is I I originally had it, uh, this pole through it and I was just gonna hang the pole up on the chains, but then it would have been so tied up against there, I'd have to cut more off. Um, but you can do that too. You can just like say, put this, I have a rebar and you can just hook that into the chains. But I found out also when they start bucking this barrel up with their heads, because some of these guys here would just push on it until it falls off. And it did fall off once simply because I didn't have that hook inside a link. So if I put the hook just under the chain, it seems easy for them to just uh, buck it up with their heads and it will come off. And then once the side drops down, it's uh, easy access for them. So what I do from here is I come around the back, of course. I unhook this one link. And it drops down enough on a 45 degree angle that all I got to do is tip a five gallon bucket up in there and hang it back up. And that rod actually makes it very easy for me to lift it back up. So having a rod might be a good thing, of course. For me, it was excellent to have that since, like I said, it helps with the leverage. Um, I would, I made that little hole here, to, but I would make this bigger to fit this in better. But they can all get in there. All the emus, the big ones, the little ones, they can all get in there and feed. So that's not an issue. Um, that's really, it's worked well for us because it doesn't get wet. And we've hung it right underneath the uh, shelter. So if they do want to seek shelter in here, it's a three-sided shelter where they have some water. Which in the winter I'm going to run a cord out here and I'll have a heated bucket out here. <laughs> this little guy would like to destroy that hut. Now he actually stays in here sometimes. So there you go, another kind of easy emu feeder. I mean, you could put it um, up somewhere else, of course, or put a lid on it, but I found this was for us the easiest solution. It's just to hang it under their shelter, but high enough so the goats can't get into it. And that works for us.